Hello everyone, welcome back. Today we are going to deal with a very important topic of graph theory that is decomposition of a graph. How to decompose a graph into subgraphs. So in the simplest way we can define decomposition of a graph as breaking down of the graph into a number of subgraphs. Now while you break it down some properties you have to keep in mind. First and very important one is that those subgraphs that you have created by breaking down the graph they all together must have covered all the edges of the graph and another important thing is every edge in the graph must be present in exactly one subgraph. You cannot place the same edge in multiple subgraphs while you are breaking it down. So when you are decomposing a graph keep in mind you are breaking it down into a number of subgraphs such that every edge of the graph appears in exactly one subgraph. So let's see the definition and some examples in its support. So a decomposition of graph is basically list of subgraphs such that each edge in the graph appears in exactly one subgraph in that list. For example, if I ask you to decompose C4 for example, so I can decompose C4 into some particular subgraph suppose I take this then the second subgraph I take ADC and then I have to take another one BC. This is decomposition. Why? Because I have broken down the graph into a list of subgraphs. See, this is also a subgraph of C4, this is also a subgraph of C4 and this is also a subgraph of my graph C4. In the first subgraph, the edge AB is taken. In the second subgraph, the edges AD and DC are taken. And in the third subgraph, the edge BC is taken. I have not drawn one edge in multiple subgraphs. Every edge of my graph is appearing and it is appearing exactly once in exactly one particular subgraph. So this is what decomposition is all about. Graph is given to you, break it down, create a list of subgraphs such that every edge of the graph appears but appears exactly once. Now comes the concept of decomposing a graph into certain particular types of graphs. Suppose you are asked to decompose a graph into copies of K3. Now what is K3? K3 is the complete graph on three vertices that is the triangle itself. So decomposing a graph into copies of K3 means you break the graph in such a way that the subgraphs that you create each is a copy of K3, each is a triangle. Okay, And in such a way that every edge of the graph appears in exactly one such copy and all the copies together should cover all the edges of the graph also. Now if for the same graph C4, I ask you to decompose it into copies of suppose P2. My question is decompose C4 into copies of P2. That means what is P2? P2 is the path on two vertices. This is what a P2 looks like. I have to decompose C4 in such a way that every subgraph that I create it will be a P2. It will be a path on two vertices. So what I can do is I can take AD in one subgraph. I can take AB in the other subgraph. I can take DC in yet another subgraph and I can take DC. See this is also decomposition because the graph is broken down into a list of subgraphs. Every edge in the graph is appearing and appearing exactly once. This is one subgraph. This is other subgraph. This is third one. And this is the fourth one and every subgraph that I have created is a path on two vertices that is a P2. So every copy here is a P2. This is decomposition of C4 into copies of P2. Now if I ask to decompose C4 into copies of P3, so you should know what a P3 is. It is a path on three vertices. So how to decompose C4 into copies of P3? You should create only paths on three vertices and you break down the graph. So I can take for example. B, A, D and I can take B, C, D. See, G1, the first copy that I have created is a P3 path on three vertices. G2 that I have created is also a path on three vertices that is also a P3. So, I have created two copies of P3. Now, have I covered all the edges of the graph? Yes, A, B is covered appearing here. A, D is covered appearing here. B, C is covered appearing here and C, D is also covered which appears here. So, every edge appears and appears only once. This is decomposition. Every subgraph is a copy of P3. So my target is accomplished. Suppose this is the graph G and I ask you to decompose this graph into copies of P3. So I can take B, U, X. This is a P3. 
so this edge is taken this edge is taken you can mark the edges as soon as you take a subgraph next i can take v w x so this edge and this edge are taken in a copy and both the copies are p3 as required now there are some edges left so you have to take them also in some subgraphs so i can take here the name is not given suppose this is a so u a w this is also a p3 and the edges u a a w are taken and lastly i can have v a x where these two edges are also taken and this is also a p3 so i have broken down my graph into copies of only p3s and every edge is taken exactly once in exactly one copy so this is decomposition of the graph into copies of p3 suppose here i want to decompose this graph into copies of k3 so how does the k3 look like it is the triangle the complete graph on three vertices so if i want to decompose g into copies of k3 i can take name this vertex this is one copy of k3 then i can take v e c this is another copy of k3 so g is decomposed into two copies of k3 see every edge is taken and taken exactly once now remember while you are decomposing a graph multiple appearances of the same vertex is possible for example here the vertex e is appearing here also in this copy also so vertex may appear in multiple subgraphs but you have to take care about edges edges should not appear in more than one copy so here in the first copy i have taken these three edges gone and in the second copy i have taken these three edges now come to this particular question decompose k4 into copies of p3 so getting such a question means first you have to know what these graphs these name graphs are k4 is complete graph on four vertices so this is what a k4 looks like okay and what is p3 it is the path on three vertices so this is what a p3 generally looks like so your job is to decompose k4 this graph into copies of p3s so from the graph you find out copies of p3s do the rough work and finally give your answer properly okay and while you draw a copy of a p3 mark the edges that you have considered so here in the first copy i have taken the edges ux and ub and this is a p3 that i have in the second copy i have taken a p3 which is being created by these two edges and in the third copy of a p3 i have taken these two edges okay so this is a decomposition of k4 as required next question is decompose k5 into copies of c5 so k5 is complete graph on five vertices this is the graph and c5 is the cycle on five vertices that is the pentagon so from the graph k5 search for copies of c5 so if you observe carefully you will find there are two copies of c5 so this is the decomposition of k5 see every edge has been considered in only one particular subgraph and both the copies are of c5 now one particular trick is that you can um, consider it while decomposing is that uh, since all the edges of the graph have to occur in the least of subgraphs that you are creating and every edge will appear exactly once so the graph whose copy you are creating for example here you are creating a c5 so in c5 i know it is a cycle on five vertices so it looks something like this now in c5 there are five edges so in one copy of c5 five edges are going to get covered now the graph k5 has 10 edges in total now one copy of c5 will cover five edges of the graph so out of 10 edges five edges are covered in one copy remaining there are 10 minus 5 five edges again which will be covered by another copy of c5 so basically using this you can get an idea in the very beginning that how many copies of that particular graph are going to get created okay for instance go to the previous example here you were asked to decompose k4 into copies of p3 now one p3 has two edges so one copy of p3 will cover two edges of the graph now in the graph k4 there are six edges right so total six edges one copy of p3 will cover two edges so six divided by two that is three copies of p3 will be created finally see you are having three copies of p3 in the similar manner here since k5 has 10 edges and one copy of c5 will cover five edges at a time so 10 divided by 5 that is 2 that is you are going to have two copies of c5 okay now come to the next question decompose k4 into a copy of k3 and a copy of k13 now k3 is the triangle and k13 is the complete bipartite graph with one vertex in one part right side and three vertices in the other part right side fine 
and there will be one copy of k3 one copy of k13 that is specifically mentioned so in the graph k4 this graph you decompose it and create two copies one copy of a k3 and one copy of a k13 so this is what we have created this is k3 which has covered the edges ux xw and uw and this is k13 that has covered the remaining edges uv vw and vx see decomposition is done now remember this example particularly just like k4 can be decomposed into a copy of k3 and a copy of k13 in general any kn can be decomposed into a copy of kn minus 1 and a copy of k1n minus 1 for example for your own practice you can check the complete graph k5 can be decomposed into one copy of k5 minus 1 that is 4 and one copy of k1 5 minus 1 4 so the complete graph kn can be decomposed into one copy of the complete graph kn minus 1 and one copy of the complete bipartite graph k1 and minus 1 here we are asked to find whether the graph g this is the graph g can be decomposed into copies of p4 now what is p4 p4 is the path on four vertices and it covers one to three edges at a time so one copy of p4 will cover three edges my graph g has nine edges in total and if one copy of p4 covers three edges then 9 divided by 3 that is 3 so you are creating basically three copies of p4 finally so these are the three copies of p4 1 2 and 3 observe carefully every edge of the graph is appearing in exactly one of these copies okay all the edges are covered this is the graph g and you are asked to decompose it into copies of p4 first and then as a second part of the question you will decompose it into copies of k13 p4 is the path on four vertices so it covers three edges at a time the graph has 12 edges so one copy of p4 covers three edges at a time so there are going to be 12 divided by 3 that is four copies of p4 so copies of p4 are going to be four and when you are creating copies of k13 now k13 looks like this the complete bipartite graph with one vertex in one part at side and three vertex in the other part at side so k13 covers three edges at a time the graph has 12 edges so here also 12 by 3 that is four copies so decomposition of g will have four copies of k13 also so first let us decompose into copies of p4 see these are the four copies of p4 each is a path on four vertices and every edge is appearing here and appearing exactly once so this is the decomposition of the graph g into four copies of k13 observe carefully you will get four copies and you will find that every edge of the graph g is appearing here in exactly one of the copies so that's all for today i hope you have enjoyed this lecture on decomposition of graph i am going to meet you again soon with some new topic till then thanks for watching and if you love learning with me then please do like share and subscribe to our channel till then take care bye bye